Hello everyone. Welcome to Neural Data. I am Aditya and today I am going ahead with our next topic in artificial intelligence and data science. That is population versus sample. And apart from this in today's session we will see what are the steps required to get a sample out of population. Now, let me define population and sample first then we will move ahead with our some real time examples for these two. So, as for population I would say it is a discrete group of people animal or things that can identify by at least one of the common characteristics for you know the purpose of data collection and data analysis therefore it contains data of all the members of a specified group now coming to samples we can say it is a portion part or you know the fraction of the whole group and acts as a subset of the whole population so basically it retains the characteristics of a larger population as such now i would show you one beautiful example of this suppose we want to conduct a research on aquatic life okay so for this particular scenario we can think of our population as a vast ocean where a number of different organisms live right and our sample would be like fishes whether small medium or large fishes and all the other aquatic life which is easily available readily available for our study so here our sample is actually a small portion of the vaster ocean that we are going to study that is our you know area of analysis here now we will move ahead with the data sampling which is nothing but a process of extracting a sample out of population but 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 you must be thinking as of now like why there is a need of a, you know getting a sample out of population isn't it a lot of hassle and tiring process why can't we just go for a population instead of a sample right you may be thinking so let me clarify this first then we will move ahead with our next steps and all so sampling is indeed a tiring process i agree okay but it is the most important part of any data science related project so it is done because we usually cannot gather data from the entire population right if i take an example of a exit poll if you remember in election time which happens just after casting votes okay then you must have analyzed that the media channels target a few people of every age group of casting population and ask their opinion okay so this is how a exit poll represents the actual result that we supposed to get on the result day so it's kind of you know reflecting the population that is getting a result from you know uh, the vote of every people from a sample data so in simple terms i would say sampling is done because it is cost effective and it is less time consuming anyhow our analysis result will be approximately similar to the population analysis but here it is cost effective and this is very very important point now we will see what is sampling funnel and how it works so whatever kind of data we collect whether it is a structured data like a tableau data which has got rows and columns or an unstructured data like audio image or video file or semi structured data like json file if you know about no sql database like mongodb so for any research it has already gone through all these four steps that we are going to discuss in this sampling funnel and these are like uh, population like determining population and uh, you know selecting a sampling frame and choosing best sampling techniques which also includes determining sample size and you know finally getting the samples from that population itself so we will discuss all these steps one by one so let's get started so the first step of this is defining target population here we consider all those entity which is our topic of interest right as i have already taken example of exit poll earlier if you remember there the target population was the people at the age you know 18 or above that and those who have got a valid electoral identity card so this was the population for us at that point of time now i would take a few artificial intelligence related examples consider a self driving car which is a product of artificial intelligence ai right then what is the population data for this particular car so here if you think clearly then you will get to know that all the items that comes in the certain range of that particular car becomes a population data or a sample data i will say here both are same and here it does not take a sample and acts on it instead it considers every factor of that data 
and acts accordingly right now another example i would take is uh, there are some restaurants in japan few restaurants are there in japan right now if i remember uh, one restaurant goes by the name of japanese cafe okay which uses robots that is a product of artificial intelligence again and they use it for the serving the customers so in this case for the robot the population data would be like the table number okay order id or you know the orders by the customers or the time of order etc and all this data gets processed in the system of the robot and they act accordingly okay now the next step is selecting a sampling frame it is basically a list of all the items or people forming a population from which a sample is taken out okay think of it as a frame where you can just get your desired population data and if i have to take some examples i would say it can be a file which contains the list of all the students studying in a school or you know it can be a phone book which contains the phone or contact details of the person you know uh, residing in a particular city or it can be a list of all those people whose name appear on the voter list of a constituency okay now moving forward the, the third step of sampling frame is choosing a right sampling method this is very very important as we have discussed earlier sampling method is nothing but a method of selecting a sample out of population right and it varies from project to project requirement to requirement okay you have to keep in mind basically we have got two types of sampling methods first one is probability sampling and the second one is non probability sampling so we will see the details of these two and what are differences what are the definitions of that one by one so let's get started so our first one is probability sampling it is basically a method of selecting a representative sample from the population at random using probabilistic methods and this enables data scientists or you know researchers to make a statistical inferences from the sample being studied you know to the population of interest so here every entity of our population has got an equal opportunity of you know getting selected as a sample now coming to non probability sampling part it represents group of sampling techniques that data scientists select from a population that they are interested in studying they just don't randomly select the sample they keep in their mind that we have to study this so we will select this particular sample from this population here every entity of population does not get an equal opportunity of getting selected as a representative sampling that i have told you earlier and the core characteristics of this non probability sampling is that the samples are selected based on the subjective judgments of you know researchers or scientists rather than the random sampling okay now on the basis of selection we can say the probability sampling is purely random we exactly don't know which entity is going to get selected as a sample here but in case of non probability sampling basis of selection is arbitrary as researchers or scientists choose any of the samples which they are interested in studying now moving to next point the chances of selection in probability sampling are fixed and known as opposed to non probability sampling the selection is actually zero here it is neither specified nor known because it depends upon person to person researcher to researcher like which sample they are going to select now the next would be like probability sampling is used when the research is conclusive in nature but on the other hand when the research is exploratory that like we need to explore something then non probability sampling should be used as the subjects are selected randomly by researcher in probability sampling so the extent to which it represents the whole population is higher as compared to non probability sampling right that is why exploration of results to the entire population is possible in the non probability sampling but but not in probability sampling as we don't need to explore much here in probability sampling right now the results generated by probability sampling are free from bias while the results of you know the non probability samplings are more or less biased probability sampling is mainly used in quantitative research so you will ask what is this quantitative research so it is actually the process of collecting and analyzing the numerical data right it can be used to find you know patterns or you know to make predictions and generalizing the results to a wider population whereas non probability sampling relies on the subjective judgment of the researcher okay and it is most useful for exploratory studies like pilot survey pilot survey is nothing but you know the deploying a survey to a smaller sample as compared to you know predefined sample that we use 
there are different types of probability sampling and these are like uh, simple random sampling a stratified sampling or you know the cluster sampling or the systematic sampling similarly if i consider non probability sampling some of the methods are like convenience sampling and quota sampling or you know the judgment sampling and snowball sampling now the next step is determining the sample size this is much very much important so the number of individuals or item to be taken in a sample would be enough to make inferences about the population with a desired level of accuracy or you know precision larger the sample more accurate our inferences about the population would be right the sample size we are going to collect should exactly match the requirements of our project consider we are going for a clinical trial of a drug or medicine then we need to have a larger sample size which would represent the population okay there is always a margin of error we have to consider while doing sampling and if a project is critical then margin of error should be comparatively low and confidence level should exactly be on the higher side on the higher note so after going through all these previous processes we finally get the required data we need okay and the desired data can be of any type be it a structured data or be it unstructured data like image audio or you know the semi structured data that uh, i have already discussed like mongo db etc this is it for today i hope you have learned something new in an interesting and interactive way if you feel our effort is targeting right population and benefiting the samples of the population in a positive way then hit the like button as hard as you can and yes don't forget to subscribe to our channel thank you stay safe stay blessed